For years we have been entertained and mesmerized by the amazing games we play and have come to love. Whether we become attached to a favorite character or simply enjoy the high-paced multiplayer mayhem of an action shooter on our PC or next-gen console, games are a cultural phenomenon that continues to grow. With the release of more and more AAA next-gen games that push the envelope even further, the development of such incredible undertakings can be daunting. Where can one even begin to learn how to approach creating a next-gen game? How do you get started? What software do you need? And most importantly, what skills do you need? At i3 Tutorials, it is strongly believed that the process can be simplified to make next-gen game development from the point of view of an indie developer or even a student not only feasible, but very much possible. All games are run by what is known as a game engine. There are many game engines out there and learning one to a professional level is daunting, difficult, and extremely time-consuming. However, if you have been looking to learn game development using techniques that will show you how to achieve the level of quality that the pros achieve, look no further than i3 Tutorials training products. Unity 3.0 has just been released and with it comes a multitude of professional grade tools and features that can be leveraged to create AAA next-gen games for a large number of platforms. Unity 3.0 makes game development accessible to everyone and anyone. If you have the drive and motivation to learn, i3 Tutorials will teach you the techniques and knowledge you need to know to be successful. In this training product, you will be taken through every step of the process in setting up this next-gen game environment from start to finish. Absolutely nothing is skipped or omitted. If you need to begin setting up next-gen game environments of Unity 3D, you don't need to look further than i3 Tutorials training. So sit back, enjoy, and get ready to begin the learning path you will not regret. Welcome to this i3 Tutorials presentation of next-gen game development with Unity 3D Volume 1. I'm i3D Jack and I'll be taking you through this entire training series to help you set up a next-gen game environment with Unity. Now the Unity 3D engine comes with the powerful Unity editor and the goal of this tutorial is to help you learn how to set up a next-gen game environment using the Unity editor and all of its powerful tools. As of the time of this recording, uh, the latest version of Unity is Unity 3.0 which was recently released when this uh, tutorial was created. Unity 3.0 comes with a huge host of advancements and improvements over all kinds of areas of Unity 3D, particularly the graphics area graphics have been optimized incredibly. In this tutorial, uh, basically the assumption is that you are new to Unity, you have little to no game development experience, and you just want to kind of get in there and start learning right away in the easiest way and most efficient way possible how to create awesome game levels, how to set them up lighting, how to get them to run well, and, uh, and get some great work that looks very similar to what you would see on AAA games running on uh, consoles like the 360 or the PS3 or high-end PCs. So we're going to be covering the uh, Unity 3D workflow in terms of the interface. Interface of course uh, seems pretty basic but it's very important if you don't master the interface of any software including Unity 3D you're not going to get very far so we'll be covering uh, important aspects of the interface and how to use it to our advantage. We're also going to be doing an overview of the workflow. Basically by the end of this tutorial you will have learned huge uh, workflow techniques that are going to help you save time and energy and do stuff uh, faster in Unity and just work a little bit smarter and not harder. We're going to be talking about asset workflow too. This is very important. Uh, Unity 3D works with the FBX file format which means that it opens up a huge amount of uh, potential 3D packages you can work with. We're going to be talking a bit about prefabs as well. These are very important in terms of asset workflow inside of Unity and we'll see how, uh, how those relate to our work. We're going to be talking about asset management. This is very important. When you're working on next-gen games, you're going to be working with tons and tons of assets. And when I mean tons and tons of assets, I'm not talking about maybe a couple of dozen textures and a few uh, high-res meshes. I'm talking about hundreds of meshes and even hundreds and possibly even thousands of textures. Then we're going to talk about Unity 3D and next-gen graphics. One of the areas that we'll be looking at to improve the look of our level, of our environment here, and make it look next-gen is materials and shaders and texture maps and uh, other areas that relate to this field right here. We'll also be looking at lights and shadows as well as some of the lighting tools and features included in Unity 3.0. Uh, for example, the Beast Light Mapper. That's a new tool in, uh, included in Unity 3.0 which makes lighting your scenes and uh, environments inside of Unity very, very powerful. Um, these tools are professional. They're very high-end, and we're going to see how to use them to your advantage so you can create that nice next-gen look to your levels. We're also going to be looking at rendering, post-processing effects, and environment effects. Then finally, we're going to talk about performance optimization. 
we're going to use tools like the statistics window and the profiler and things like that to optimize our game. What it comes down to is pretty simple. If your game looks fantastic but it runs in slow motion or runs very very slow at say a frame rate of maybe 10 FPS, 10 frames per second or something like that, um, no player is going to want to play your game because no one's going to be able to enjoy it. So we're going to learn optimization techniques that are specific to the Unity 3 engine and we're going to see how to use different tools to optimize our next gen environments so that we can find a nice balance between our work looking really really nice and high quality but also running rock steady and uh, at a very fast high rate of, uh, of frames per second and getting it nice and smooth okay so with that said we're gonna go ahead next and jump into unity 3.0 one final note in this tutorial I will be using unity 3.0 the pro version in other words uh, unity 3 with a professional license okay unity comes with different licenses uh, you have to check out their website and read over their licensing information they have a lot of shit on there it's broken down pretty pretty easy in charts and, and such so you can see which license fits for you so for an indie developer or small team or maybe uh, someone who is learning unity from an academic standpoint like a student or something you might want to go with the unity basic edition uh, as of the time of this recording, that edition is free, even for commercial purposes. But uh, the Unity Pro version gives you access to a lot more powerful tools and uh, all the cool lighting features that are included with Unity 3. So you will need access to these tools and features and assets in order to be able to follow along with this tutorial. So if you don't have it, you can still learn a lot from this tutorial. But uh, I strongly recommend that you use Unity Pro if you want to achieve the same results that you're going to see uh, throughout this tutorial okay All right so with that said thanks a lot for uh, for joining me in this uh, training series I'm sure you'll enjoy it it was a lot of fun making this and uh, I hope it's uh, a lot of fun for you to follow along and learn these cool techniques and uh, and workflows for creating next-gen graphics with unity 3